Rebuke us, Lord, when we are too pleased with ourselves. When our dreams come true because we dream too little. When we arrive safely, because we sailed too close to shore. Rebuke us, Lord, if with the abundance of wealth we have. We have lost our thirst for the water of life, fallen in love with life. We stop dreaming of eternity, and in our quest to build a new earth. We had let our vision of the new paradise dim. Rebuke us Lord, to be bolder. To roam in wider seas, where storms will show God's power. Where we lose sight of the land, we will find the stars. We ask you to push back our horizons of hope. And to propel us into the future with strength, courage, hope and love. This we ask in the name of our Captain, which is Jesus Christ, Sir Francis Drake. There must be a beginning to every great thing, but continuing to the end until it is completely finished produces true glory. Great things have small beginnings. The light of past discovery draws me forward. Its shining light guides me to the glory of exploration. Coming up onto them, there has passed some cannon shot between some of our fleet and some of them. And so far as we perceive they are determined to sell their lives with blows. Number 1. What is Sir Francis Drake famous for? Sir Francis Drake is best known for circumnavigating Earth, 1577 to 80, preying on Spanish ships along the way. Later he was credited for his defense of England by raiding Spain's harbor at Cadiz in 1587, and, according to many sources, by disrupting the Spanish Armada in the English Channel with fire ships in 1588. Number 2. What were Sir Francis Drake's other major achievements? In addition to circumnavigating the world, Sir Francis Drake is known for making several voyages to the West Indies as a slave trader. He later served Queen Elizabeth I as a privateer and naval officer charged with striking against Spain's possessions. He also served as the mayor of Plymouth, England. Number 3. How did Sir Francis Drake die? During Sir Francis Drake's final voyage to the Caribbean to raid Spanish possessions, the fleet he commanded was decimated by a fever. He died from fever, or possibly dysentery associated with the condition. At sea on January 28, 1596, near Portobello, Panama, he was buried at sea, supposedly in a lead coffin. Sir Francis Drake, 
born circa 1540-43, Devonshire, Eng. Died January 28, 1596, at sea, off Puerto Bello, Pan. English Admiral, the most renowned seaman of the Elizabethan age. Which quote motivates you the most?